I'm Dr. Mario Harrell, professor of piano at Stephen F. Austin State University. And in this video, I want to show you how to compress videos into smaller file sizes so that they're optimized for online delivery. As teachers and students uh, shift to online classes and lessons here in 2020, it's become more apparent that if we want to exchange video files of our lectures and lessons and students want to submit assignments and performances, then we need to be able to make the video files as small as possible so that they can be shared easily and quickly. So this video will demonstrate that process of using a free open source application that I've used for many years called Handbrake. So if I want to download Handbrake, remember it's a free open source application. You'll find uh, you'll go to handbrake.fr and then you should see a big button here. It depends on what computer that you're on. I'm on a Mac OS uh, computer and uh, you can click here on the red button for the uh, downloading of the free software. If you're on some other platform that it doesn't come up here, they also have it available for Windows and Linux as well. So I have Handbrake open over here, but before I show you Handbrake, I want to show you want to get the video file that you want to compress onto your computer. So I have those already preloaded on here. Like for example, I have this um, video file that's 385 megabytes of me rehearsing my Prokofiev uh, piano concerto with my son Neo. And I just want to show you the quality of that. This was recorded on a DSLR uh, uh, camera. So it, it, you get pretty good quality of it here and a good representation of it here. This is just to give you a little sample. It might, uh, might not be totally representative of what you might get on your smartphones or other devices, but this is that 385 megabyte file. So I'm pretty happy with the way that that sounds, but I need to get it smaller if I want to deliver it for um, either, let's say, a teacher or to students who want to watch this particular video file and don't want to sit through a 385 megabyte download. So what I do is I go back into Handbrake and you see where it says open source. Tap on open source here. And then you find that video file. Here it was the uh, Prokofiev Concerto and I double tap on that and then it brings it up here and you can kind of preview, you know, is this the way that it looks like here? And then what you want to look for, you know, there's so many different settings that you can do and feel free to experiment with it as you feel is necessary. But there's these uh, wonderful presets here that says fast, very fast, high quality, super HQ. I went ahead and it is already in a 1920 by 1080 format. So I'm gonna go ahead and put click on very fast 1080p30. If you don't know what any of that stuff means, not a big deal here. Just select that preset here. And then once you got it, then you want to choose where do you want to save it here. And I wanna browse, and this shows you the file path that you're going to be saving that file into. And also you'll see that it saves it as an MPEG-4 video file through this preset. And I wouldn't even mess with any of the other um, settings that goes along with it here. And if you think that's what you want to do here, go ahead and tap start. And it's about a two minute file. And you can see the progress of it here, how long it takes. And on my computer and your computers might have some different uh, um, times for it to encode and compress. But it takes about 30 seconds for a two minute um, download and or excuse me two minute uh, video that you have here so rather than us spending time wasting uh, uh, time looking at that here let me stop that process here and I'll go ahead and show you the kind of like a chef <laughs> who has already something that's already cooked here I'm gonna hit go ahead and ah I keep missing the wrong uh, video file here so here it is um, uh, I already did this earlier here, and you can see the difference here. It's 14.4 megabytes as opposed to the 385.6 megabytes that the original file is. And if I go ahead and double tap on that and open it up here in QuickTime, 
you'll notice that has there really been any noticeable significant degradation in video and audio? <laughs> I don't think so there. It, it looks pretty pretty close to me through my naked eyes as, as far as I'm concerned here. So I think that's a really great investment in able to, and you know, it's not really much of an investment other than a little bit of an extra step in time um, because it is a free open source application in order to compress these video files. Now you probably still don't want to email these files. Um, you probably still want to share them either through uh, a cloud-based service such as Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, or even as an unlisted YouTube video as well. Um, and that will make it relatively easy. Both the student and also the teachers will probably benefit from saving a whole lot of time and a whole lot of uh, um, resources as far as having these smaller file sizes in order to exchange videos in this online lesson and class environment. So I hope you found that video helpful. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at aheromp at sfasu.edu and good luck with your classes. Thanks. Bye.